Testing, testing, test, test, test. Hello, everyone. Oh dear, so so sorry about that. Uh, the volume is a little loud there. Hello, everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates going on and such. I'll be going over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me uh, your island ears for a short time. Now, it's only fitting that we kick off the daily ritual uh, with a doozy of an island announcement. The Ulysses Airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online and local communications to fly to other islands to visit. That's not all, no, no. The uh, airport counter now offers postal service. Just like the resident uh, services center, the airport is open 24 hours a day, so feel free to drop by for a look. Oh, I do have one other item to share, and it is uh, two, is a Whopper. Hmm? As of this day, the brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us here in Eulison. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past, present, and he's here to study Eulison. I sincerely hope everyone will lend their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by the tent for details. That's all for me. I hope you all have another fine day in the luxurious Eulison living. We are back once again. What is up, guys? I hope you are all having a great day. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Saturday? I think it's Saturday. But yeah, we are back for another episode. I just got done streaming this game on another island for freaking seven hours. And now I get to play another seven hours on a different day. So needless to say, I'm pretty excited. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great time on your islands as well. Let's check our mail. We got it from the Happy Home Academy. Greetings from the Happy Home Academy. Our goal, we want to help you make your home the best that it can be. Look out for more messages from us and hone your home decor decorating skills. Home decoring skills. All right. And a heartwarming gift is attached. We will take that. Thank you. And our mom messaged us. Dear, uh, my dear Peach, whenever I see a plane, I think of you and wave at those airborne strangers with all my might. I have no idea how many flights took off uh, each day. My arms are exhausted. Enjoy your fresh start, mom. Aw, thanks, mom. All right, well, that takes care of that. We do have our house. So let's check this out today. Let us see what we got. Oh, we got way more room. Congratulations on the construction of your new home. Here are a few uh, tips for the comfortable living. Turn the lights on, enter the decorating mode, and then open the storage. Okay, cool. Uh, turn lights on or off. Okay. Enter the decorating mode. And last but not least, open storage. Access to your home storage is stashed to retrieve items. Okay, cool. When you're in your home, you can open your pockets to, like, to select furniture or other items to put in storage. Okay. Well, let us screw with the lights for a sec. That's pretty cool. And we're going to go into the decorating mode. So, we're just going to... Oh, God. Why did that make... Why did that make it so much lighter or louder? All right, so we're gonna do that there. We will move our radio. We'll just leave the switch there. We'll move the other switch here. Move our rice cooker back into the corner. And uh, we'll just leave the lantern in the corner. All right, cool. That is taken care of and we are gonna head out. I hope there's nothing in my inventory that I needed to put in storage. I didn't think about that. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, our presents. This one is from Happy Home Academy. We got a wooden low table. Okay, cool. Thank you for that. Uh-huh. Okay. Sweet. I learned the DIY recipe for the wooden low table. And the other gift that we got is from our mother, and it is three cherries. Okay, that is really freaking good. We do not want to eat those at all costs. Uh, those are not native to our island, so those are very important. Oh, a message in a bottle. Dude, everything's happening right away today. If I could pick it up. That was weird. Alright, let's see. I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to press A on it to pick it up. Open. Alright, uh, dear soon-to-be best friend. While rereading my diary the other day, I came across a recipe. Ah, I never ceased to amaze myself. You can do great things with this recipe if you follow it to a T. Uh, it's time to become a DIY legend. You're welcome, kid. Wait, like, kid cat? Let's see. The wooden knot wall. Okay, that's kind of cool. Another crafting recipe for us. And let us explore the island today. So, the announcement pointed out that we do have our museum finished today. And... I was lazy yesterday when we played because I already felt like it was an hour-long video. You guys didn't want to watch more. 
I didn't save any freaking bugs or anything. So we are going to try to get some stuff donated to the museum today. But first of all, let us go meet our new friend Blathers. Do 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 do. Hello, friends. Oh, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Ah, could it be that you are Peach, the personage? Wow, is that a word? Personage? Who chose the location of this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to uh, alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those gave to Tom Nook in the museum once it's complete. Though I confess, there is one small problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to you know, secure permission to open a museum properly. Empty display cases uh, will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is uh, where you come in, woot woot, allow me to explain. You see, uh, not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed uh, institute, but fossils too. Hmm? As uh, it happens, if you sit, uh, wait, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I'd bet a uh, pin feather this primitive plot is flush with fossils I require. But the river, you say? Oh, I can't just hop over it, you say. Ooh, silly you. I have a solution as audacious as uh, trying to populate the entirety of a deserted island. Pardon me, Peach, while I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. Well, that makes me not feel as bad. I did find out that everybody's islands are cut off. It wasn't just me, so that makes me feel better. There you see, with a wood gathered from Ulysses, I can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel yourself across the river up and over you go. Hooty hoot. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well. Uh, which brings me to my point. Please, Beach, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers! I've blathered on for far too long, but uh, let me leave you with this. If I am to open a museum, I must require more items to exhibit. Fifteen more to be precise. The fervently hope that you will donate your precious finds to the cause. All right, cool. No problem, Blathers. All right, so I feel like that is going to be our order of business today. We will check in on all of our villagers, but we need to get catching stuff for Blathers so we can get that moved on. But I do see Flo in the distance. I didn't even mean to shake that tree. Hi, Flo. Sup, Cha? Where are you headed? Uh, what's the latest? I love how chill it is here. Like, you could sleep till noon and nobody even notices, Cha. All right. I sleep till noon every day. I feel like you're trying to attack me. Grab a couple more sticks since we're going to need them to make the shovel and the vaulting pole anyways. Grab this. And this. And let's talk to Sly. How's it going, bud? Looking built. Hoorah. What's up? I would like to chat, Sly. I like to do a late cooldown before I start up my evening routines. Can't beat it. Hoorah. Alright. You know, I respect it. The late night workout. But let us see about a couple things today. Let us check on the shop. Then we will make our tools. And then we will explore the rest of the island that we haven't gotten a chance to check out yet. Um, so this island is ahead of my other one. Oh, that we have a discussion going on. So you see, since the number of home homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been trained under me for many years now. This should be a piece of cake. Well, hello there, Peach. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely charge up, or sorry, change up the flooring and wallpaper. And you've got uh, some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture that you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. All homeowners can automatically register at the Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we'll call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members who with homes that achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to 
Your new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bells, please. Uh, okay. Ah, don't worry. You can pay it back in installments, big or small. Payments can be uh, used with the ABD feature on the Nook style. That should be everything I need to tell you about the homes today. But I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. It's a premium miles redemption item. The Nook Miles ticket. A Nook Miles ticket? The Nook Miles ticket is a special travel voucher that can only get by redeeming your Nook Miles. Uh, it's a conundrum hmm, to which improve the island, but still hold on to its deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventures. Yes, yes. Go any uh, anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for a DIY project. Your trip is yours to enjoy any way that you like. I've left your ticket on the counter in the airport, so whenever you travel, whenever the travel mood strikes now then uh go enjoy your life on this freshly built home indeed all right so nook is letting us know that we are able to go visit other islands now but he also talked about this little machine over here which we're gonna go through real quick oh how could i forget uh i should give you a brief explanation about that terminal that is our nook stop it's a terminal of services that will further enhance your island life of course you can use these terminals for catalog shopping uh, or as the abd but you can also redeem your Nook Miles here. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Alright, so let's see what we can use our Nook Miles for. We have 1,500. And we get 50 bonus for checking it today. Your account is now registered for the Miles Redemption Service. We hope that you continue to enjoy the many benefits of the Nook Mileage Program. Thank you. Please select from the following services. Alright, so let's check out the uh, features of what we can get. So we can get another ticket. This will let us go to another island. The Custom Design Pro Editor. We got some pretty good tools recipes. We got the Essentials Tool Ring. The Pocket Organization Guide. Uh, top 8 Pop Hairstyles. Top 8 Cool Hairstyles. Top 8 Stylish Hair Colors. And we got a t-shirt. Another t-shirt. Another t-shirt. A bandana. A cap. The Sleeping Eye Mask. We got some socks. Some slippers. A backpack, which is really freaking cool. An umbrella. A fan. We got some wallpaper, some flooring, uh, a botanical rug, and a regular rug. So, yeah, these are some options that we can use our points for. We're not going to use them right now. Um, but, hey, it gives us options for the future. I kind of want to save those up because I want to get the organization kit. Because that actually adds a full row to your uh, inventory. So, instead of having, what is this, uh, 20, we would then have 30 spots. So, well, let's see about Timmy's problem. Hey there, Peach. Congratulations on your new home. I have something I'd like to chat to you about. If you have a moment, that is. It's a bit personal, so if now's not a good time, I understand completely. No pressure. Sure, let's go. Very good. I'll get right to the point. So, I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture of building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing, and our needs are growing too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I'm a bit limited in here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees uh, that we have a need. Uh, but here's the thing. Building materials are hard to get. So can we get them uh, aside for, um, for building a shop? I really don't see it, since we'll need those materials for residential projects. But I have an idea. Yes, yes, yes. You could gather up the materials from around the island, right? Uh, from the trees and rocks. Our environment review even suggests that there will be a zero impact on the native flora or fauna. But I'm getting off track. What I need is a lot of material for a proper shop. And we will, of course, offer compensation for your efforts. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, I know this is a lot. But I put together a list of items that I'd like you to gather. You will need 30 pieces of each for regular wood, hardwood, and softwood. And 30 iron nuggets. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. They could come from uh, this island or any other. But you can gather... Uh, you can gather material at your own pace. Once you have set uh, a set of something, come see me. Wow. That is a lot of freaking items. Okay. How can I help you? I want to see what you have today. All right. What I have to sell today, we have a camping stove and a toolbox. Well, we already have the toolbox. Uh, I don't have a camping stove yet, so we will have to buy that at some point. And it looks like we just have our normal general stuff. We got DIY for beginners, uh, watering can, slingshot, and flimsy. Okay, 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 okay. Nothing crazy. Thank you, though, Timmy. Well, now I don't know what to work on because I kind of want to build all of the above. I, I don't know. I want to try to get both of those done, but that seems like such a big task for one day. 
right, let's check the old DIY, because there is something that I definitely need to build that I didn't build in the last episode. Okay, that requires softwood, and that requires hardwood. No, those both require the wood that we need for the shop? That sucks. All right. Uh, we need an iron nugget to be able to make the DIY workbench. Okay. Do I have a... Axe. I don't. Okay. As much as I would love to make an axe, I don't want to waste our stones. So we are just going to buy an axe because I am lazy and 800 bells, in my opinion, is worth it to buy an axe. So let's do that. We will pick this up real quick. One flimsy hatchet. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh god, I just remember we have to pay off our house too. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. So much to do, so much indeed. I also heard my phone go off while we were in there. And what did we get done? Dream house. A home that you build yourself gives a blah 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 blah. Okay, upgrading our house gave us 500 nook miles. Easy. And we also got one for the bell ringer, which is spending money. And did we get any other ones? Doesn't look like it. Okay. For those of you guys who don't know, by the way, if you hit the right analog stick while you are in that menu, it will auto jump to anything that you already have completed. So yeah, just a, a fun little fact for you. Well, let us see about getting out our hatchet and smacking some rocks real quick. There's some iron. don't think we're going to get all of it since I wasn't able to dig holes behind us since I don't have a shovel yet. Okay. Not bad. Three pieces of iron. I should wait until we make a shovel though to hit the other rocks in case it ends up being a bell rock. Because that would be very important. Okay, so we can craft. Oh, I have to do it at the shop. It would help if I craft at the crafting station. Crafting table, do do do. Craft something using Tom Nook's workbench. Sure, let's craft. We got the. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Craftable. Craft that. Smack it. I made a simple DIY workbench. That is all we need to make. Thank you, Tom Nook. Bye, bud. And we're gonna bring this back to our house just in case. Just so we don't always have to come back here if we want to craft something. Um, I always get worried that when we go in shops, we're going to miss out on something that would have been outside. Where in the world is my house? <laughs> I straight up lost my house. Okay. Uh, let's just put it right here. This seems like a decent spot. That is a tire toy. Okay. Well, I guess we'll put it next to the tire toy. No one would ever expect it to be right there. Um, and let's push this. In. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. I want to push it push it. I want to push it over and spin it. Hmm. What way looks the best? Like that? Yeah, that'll do. And let's see about crafting. Um, hmm. What do I want to craft? I mean, I should craft a shovel. We'll do that. And then we're also going to craft the vaulting pole. Let's see. Vaulting pole. Alright, and we're good. So now we want to take out the trusty shovel. Trusty shovel. Alright, let's just open our inventory. It's gonna be faster. Um uh, maybe I do want that whatchamacallit sooner than I thought. The there's a radial wheel or whatever that you can get from points. It makes it way faster. Oh, you can jump over them. Uh-oh. That's scary. Dig that hole there. Dig that hole there. I'm doing all this, and I don't even know if this is going to be the one that has the whatchamacallit in it. I don't even know if this is going to be the one that has bells in it. Swap over to the axe. All right, let's go. Oh! Okay. There's a millipede. We're going to have to catch that. Don't go away. I don't want to... Oh, it went away. I didn't want to miss out on the chance of iron. Oh, we got to get our slingshot, too. 
Hold this. And American Sniper. Bang. Oh, no, I wasn't even close. Bang. There we go. Let's see what our present from the sky is. It is... A throwback container. What in the world does that even mean? Oh, that's so cute. Flo went and sat on the freaking tire. Aww. Flo, I'm glad you're enjoying that tire toy. You can just take a load off, kick your little toes. I'm glad that you appreciate that. Okay, I want to see what this toy is, or this thing that we got is. What is this thing? What is this thing? Do do do. It's called a throwback container. What? It looks like a. It looks like a subway car, to be honest. Um. Okay. I have no idea what this thing is. I'm just gonna push it in the corner and pretend like I appreciate it. Wow! Thank you, Sky Prizes. I appreciate that thing that was given to me. Neato. All right, let's go. Um, well, I don't know what to work on. I want to get the museum done. I feel like if I get the museum done, that'd be big progress. But I also feel like we should get the freaking whatchamacallit done. I don't think I'm going to worry about my house today. That shouldn't be a concern. The house is going to take forever. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to go cut some wood. I'm going to try to get that started, and then I will be right back. I don't think we're going to be able to finish this today because we need 30 iron. And 30 iron is not going to be possible with one ticket to an island. So yeah, I will, uh, I'm going to go try to find the bell rock, and I will be right back. Oh no, it's the bell rock, and there's another freaking centipede! Come on, one more! Ah, oh, we were so close. No, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, I freaking suck. We're never gonna catch one of those. All right, well, we got decent amounts of money from this. So that's good, we got our bell rock for the day. That was one thing that we needed for flathers that we're not gonna get them. I'm just hoping that it's something that can happen throughout the what in the world is this hello what are you freaking money i dug up a thousand bells the hole is still glowing huh. let's try something real quick i want to see what happens very in hole oh is this how they do money trees in this game? All right, we're gonna wait and see. That could have been a waste of 10,000 bells. If it was a waste of 10,000 bells, I apologize to everyone who is currently screaming at their monitor. But I'm hoping that it works that way. Oh, my pockets are full. Well, that was quick. All right, I'm gonna go get a little bit more wood. I'm gonna go choppy choppy a bit until this hatchet breaks, and then we will proceed with Blathers, because I've decided that's our concern today. We are gonna try to get Blathers Museum those 15 things that it needs so it can upgrade. Oh god, no, 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 no. I don't have my freaking whatchamacallit. Oh, I wish I could have caught those. I need them for the, uh, the museum, but I don't think I can swap fast enough. All right, hold on. I have an idea. We are gonna try to find the other set of bees with our net out. Let's see, from Hatchet it is, oh, it is really far, okay. I'm gonna go shake some trees and try to find a freaking bee's nest so we can get that for blathers. Oh, I totally just realized something. We got these three cherries from my mom. We should try to plant these somewhere. So let's do one up here. I think this would be a good spot for one. Uh, plant one. And let's see, where else would be good? We could put one over here. This should be a decent spot for one. I kind of want them to be somewhat in the same area as each other. And maybe we'll do like one here. <clears throat> All right, so that would take care of that. I'm trying to free up some inventory space too. I've been running out of inventory space this entire time. And do you think it's time? Do we explore? Let's find out. 
hold this. All right, we're going for it. Yeah, yeet. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Oh my gosh, finally able to explore my freaking island. There's so many weeds left, too. And these super pretty waterfalls. I mean, we could see the waterfall before, but still. And our first fossil has been achieved. Look, I dug up a fossil. Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna pick up the weeds before we fill in the hole. That's fine. Oh, we got flowers up there. And a bumblebee! Oh, dude, how do I get up there, though? I don't think I can yet. Yeah, I don't think I have access to that. Oh my gosh, I just realized that part of the island that I wanted to build my house on, I wouldn't have even had access to today. That's going to be so far before we can move our house up there, because it looks like it's at the very top of the terrain. If you look in the top right, where I wanted to build, holy, that's super high up there. Um, Are there any more dig sites for us, though? Excuse me, game. I would like to dig holes, please. Oh, this looks so cool. It's got this little, like, water thingy. Tide pool. That's the word I'm looking for. And then this. There's a whole bunch of tide pools. I wonder if there's specific animals that you find in those tide pools. I don't know if you would just, like, grab them. Or you, maybe you still fish for them there. Huh. God, this makes the island feel so much bigger. I don't know how much bigger it actually is than, like, New Leaf, but there's so much area we haven't looked at. We got ourselves another fossil, though. Goodbye, fossil. Another one. Look, I dug up a fossil. Okay, there's three. I wonder if there's... Oh, I was going to say I wonder if there's more. But there is another dig site right here. I found another fossil. Alright, let's see anything else. The shovel is lasting way longer than I expected it to. And I'm very happy with her that. Oh, another dock that goes nowhere. Okay. Well, since we're over here, I think we should probably do a little fishing. A little fishy, boys. Alright. You will be my first catch of the day, sir. So I expect you to eat this hook. Dang it. All right, talking and trying to catch fish, not a good play. I should probably focus or sing the fish catching song. Wait, what? My character is walking so weird. He like trips over that little step. caught ourselves yes i caught a sea butterfly try not to confuse it with a sea moth all right one down 14 to go holy crap we caught a rock all right well i don't think i can turn that into oh come on and the line for the trusty flimsy fishing rod all right well i guess it's time to head back to the house real quick I could use up the rest of this axe, though, before we go. Try to get some more hardwood. Well, more wood in general, not just hardwood. We need 30 of each, so it's going to be a while. Oh, there it goes. Okay, well, we got some. We got a decent amount. Let's see. So we have our four fossils. We got six more hardwood, nine more softwood, and eight regular wood. So let's equip our old vaulting pole and try to get back to town real quick. Oh, I'm on the wrong side again. Let's jump over one more time. And we're good. Man, it would suck if we did that and we got stuck on the wrong side. Um, I should grab some more sticks, though, because I have to remake our fishing pole. Let's see if we can get some sticks out of this tree. There's one, two, three. Come on. Mr. Tree, give me more branches. Four. Five. I mean, that's enough to make a fishing pole. I could stop. Yeah, let's, we'll just grab this. All right. Let us go and... Make a fishing pole. By the way, I did start throwing all my stuff on the ground here. Um, I'm just doing that because I didn't want to have to go back in my house to put it away. Oh, and my pockets are full. Okay, well, we're going to drop that real quick. 
Let's see about putting it in here. I don't know if I can store resources in here or only furniture. I would assume I can store anything in here though. So they said right on the D-pad, we'll open storage. Okay, hold on. Uh, put in storage. Oh, there we go. Put in storage and... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Put in storage. Okay, sweet. That takes care of that pretty easily. Okay, cool. Because I don't need that right now. That's something we're going to build up slowly over time. But we could go take these four fossils to my boy Blathers real quick. Make him a happy bird boy. And see if we got anything cool. What up, brada? Please let me know if you have any items to donate or need assistance. I'm here to help. Make a donation. Marvelous! What should we have a look at? Uh, this. There you go. Whoo! Indeed, there can be no doubt. This is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition is impeccable. There are fossils on this island, but I digress. Back to the matter of the wind. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Oh, of course. It can be but one thing. A mega skull. My feathers. What a fabulous fossil. This mega skull would be the size, uh, sizable step towards opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? I'm donating it. Hoot! How wonderful! I'll add this to our collection with the utmost. I missed what it said. I never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well preserved Mega Sarah skull. Dear me, I must have got a short presentation on the topic. I am quite knowledgeable, you know. You know what? We'll let him do it. Wonderful! Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Ooh, I've been hoping someone would bring me a Mega Serops. This large fellow was a bit like a modern rhinoceros, but two horns on its nose. Sadly, the small teeth restricted them to the diet of rather soft plants, and eventually they died out. I feel there's a valuable lesson that we have to learn from those who enjoy a variety of foods. And that is uh, what I have to say about that. Any hoots, I'm glad to appreciate your generous donation. I only hope that we'll find uh, what remains of this fossil to display it as a fully assembled form. Well, thank you. Best of luck. Well, now then. This also applies to the fossils that you brought this time, hmm? Only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, Please bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate it is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. By the way, I wonder if you have anything else you would like to donate, and if so, might I take a look? I do have something else. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Uh, here, you can have the sea butterfly as well. Hooty hoot! This must be a sea butterfly! Now, I might interest you in a few fascinating facts about the sea butterfly. Yeah, I don't know if we should keep doing these. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Such a mystery, such grace. Did you know that the sea butterfly's scientific name is Thecomas, uh, Thecomata? Oh, a rough translation to that of the shell body. Indeed, its illustrious creature is related to snails. However, oh, it reminds me much more of the elegant feathered friend, the way that flies through the water. But such grace in flying, one shouldn't wonder if it's related to the owl. <laughs> But there you have it, fascinating find, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, I should display it with the utmost dignity. With this, I need 13 donations to the opening of the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contributions. Who? All right, Blathers, well, we have a couple fossils for you, my dude. I'm here to help. Uh, assess some fossils. What would you like me to assess? I am a flutter. All right, so we're going to assess these three big guy. All yours. Oh, more than what I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Hooty hoot. There are rare fossils, each and every one of them, that have not yet appeared in our collection. I say, you do have quite a knack for finding valuable fossils. I'm terribly jealous. I really hope that I can convince you to donate these and will expand our little museum. In the meantime, I shall return them to you. But do think on what I said, hoot hoot. I mean, if you need them, is there anything else I can help you with? I would like to make a donation. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Can I donate all of these? Or do I have to... Oh, you can only do them one at a time. 
Could it be? Is this a T-Rex torso I've never seen? My, uh, never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved T-Rex torso. It reminds me. Uh, I might give you a short presentation on the topic of how knowledgeable you know. All right. So, this is going to be the first thing that I'm going to ask you guys. We are going to be donating a lot of stuff to Blathers. And I was wondering, are you guys interested in the things that he says? Or would you like me to cut them down for the sake of time? Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. I personally love Blathers. But I do think if we're donating this, at this case, I have to donate 13 more items uh, today. I don't think you guys want to hear me go through 13 different things. So I'm going to finish up these fossils, and then I will see what you guys say. And then in the future, moving on, depending on what you guys determine, we will either cut some of Blather's facts, not all of them. We'll still, you know, good ones here and there. Or uh, do you guys want to seriously go through all of them? Because we're going to go for 100%. So... It would be possible that we would go through every freaking single one of these. So, yeah. Let me know. Might give you a short presentation on the topic. Sure. Wonderful. It is a fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Hmm, I'd say the T-Rex was 800-pound gorilla of the dinosaur world. But it was likely weighed well over nine tons. This fearsome chap was practically synonymous with the word dinosaur, and for good reason. It was up to 42 feet long with banana-sized teeth. It was one of the largest carnivores ever to walk this way. It's unclear how fast the T-Rex was, since, uh, you know, estimations vary wildly. I'm just relieved I will never have to escape one who... And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I'm glad that you accept this donation, a generous donation. I only hope that we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in a fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. By the way, I wonder if you have anything else that would like to be donated. If so, might I have a look for you? I've got something else. Marvelous! Alright, we will give you the Triceratail. Could it be? Is this a Triceratail? I never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well-preserved Triceratail. Oh, dear me, I do have a short presentation on topic. Quite knowledgeable. Sure. Wonderful! Fascinating stuff I show you. Now, where to begin? As herbivores go, Triceratops was unusually well-equipped uh, well equipped for combat. Three horns, an impressive bony frill upon... Uh, Frill probably helped to fight off predators like T-Rex. The frill may have been involved in temperature regulations or else it attracted mates. Does it sound like uh, virtually all distinctive dinosaur features? Where for body heat or attracting mates? And uh, that is what I have to say. Okay, I screwed up that one so bad. I apologize to the tr Triceratops for me not representing you well. I wonder if you have anything else. <laughs> yeah, I got you, buddy. We will give you this fossil, the Stego Tail. Oh, could it be? Is this a Stego Tail? I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved Stego Tail. Dear me, I might have to start the presentation. All right, yes, please, read it to me. All right. You cannot talk about the stegosaurus without talking about the distinct diamond-shaped plates on its back. These plates were made of bone but not actually connected to the animal skeletons. They simply grew out of the skin. Remarkably enough, they were up to two feet tall, similarly wide. It's not clear exactly how the place were arranged or uh, what they were there for, uh, yet more mysteries of the ancients. That's what I have to say about that. Anywho, I'm glad to accept this generous donation. I only hope that we can find the remains of the fossils displayed in a timely manner. All right, sounds good, buddy. With that, we need 10 more donations to open the museum. Let's just say I'm eager to accept your contributions. All right, Blathers. Well, that gives you guys a general idea of that character. Um, I do want to say I'm a little bummed that we can only give him one item at a time. Um, just for, you know, time's sake. That is quite insane. Um, but yeah, let's... Let's talk to Sly real quick. See what he's up to today. When did it get so late? How long have I been out here? Hoorah! What's the latest, bud? Where is your uh, getting stuff together to build a shop? Good hustle. Found something that might help things along. Here you go. Oh, iron. Thanks, bud. I was going to make those iron nuggets into, like, free weights, but uh, having a shop sounds way cooler. The faster we get a shop, the faster we can buy free weights. Go Team Ulyssen. Hoorah. All right. Thanks, dude. How many did he give us? Oh, my God. I think he gave us four or three. I don't know. I think I had two iron going into that. 
But that makes... Oh, no, it's still on the ground. He legit gave us five. Oh, what a nice guy. Oh, my God, that brings us up to eight. Yo, Peach. Yo, what's up, Flo? What's up? I heard that you're getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. Aha, I knew it. Well, thanks for doing your part for you, listen. Oh, I got an idea. Uh, if they've got you gathering stuff for the shop, you might want this. Oh, a tool? I figured out how to make the shovel from this awesome collection of DIY recipes uh, I got with my Miles. If I remember right, it's called a pretty good tools recipe. So far, everything I've built from there is uh, super sturdy. Anyways, if you dig with that shovel and go around and collecting, uh, buried shovel in no time. Cha. Well, thank you, Flo. So, yeah, this is actually the next set of tools. So we have a flimsy shovel, and then we have a regular shovel. So... The main difference is you would make a flimsy shovel and then you would upgrade it with a piece of iron and I think a piece of wood. I don't know for sure. I think it uses both wood and iron. And then you get a regular shovel. It just has an increased durability and I think it has a couple other things if you're enhanced with fruit. I think I could like dig up a full tree, but I don't know entirely. I haven't screwed around with them. I just know of their existence. But yeah, I'm going to go catch some more fish. We're going to start out with this one because we need to get 10 more things for the... I don't have a fishing rod. Why is everything I love broken? Wait a second. Hello, my friends. You are not what I was looking for, but you do aid me in making me feel better. So, Please drop yourself. What's in the box? What's in the box? I skipped over it. 5,000 bells. So, as I was saying, I was playing this game earlier today on my stream, and we were collecting boxes the entire time from presents. I think we collected five total. No, nah, maybe six, right? We shot down six presents. In six presents, I got over 50,000 bells. I need to stop doing that. But yeah, one of the ones I shot down had 30,000 bells in it. Like, what? How is that even possible? So yeah, presents are super OP. Do I have enough to make a fishing pole? I do. Cool. Let's do that. All right, and back to fishing we go. Who the heck is this man on my beach? Bugga, who's at the helm? Or I'm sorry, wait, he's a sailor. Er, bigger, who's at the helm? Oh, just give me five more minutes. Snar, sorry fellas, already licked all of these cookies and tested for raisins. Arr, arr, don't want to be floatsome, can't be a jetsam. It just sounds more rugged. Please wake up, sir. The waves, the waves. Arr, ready the pool noodles. Arr, arr, waiter, somebody put salt in this water. Mmm. Brr! Do, do you have me pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so... Wait, I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on, I know that one. I'm none other than Gulliver, a seafaring seagull of the seven seas. Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? Thanks for the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations tend to speak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I'm rating your vacant expression as a yes. <laughs> Guess I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. Oh, that's an endearing character trait of mine. The crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Ha! <laughs> Don't worry, the fellas will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see. I just call for help using my handy dandy... Oh, my... Uh, oh, my gosh. My handy dandy communicator's broken. It isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sardines! It's cracked and busted. Looks like I'm missing a few communicator parts, too. 
That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm, that could take a while. I've got enough nautical puns to last a couple hours. I'm begging you here, will you help me with my communicator parts, please? Sure. Oh, thank you, thank you. My heart must be uh, almost as big as your head. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm missing five parts. You'll find them and cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, but I best stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the search into you. I believe in you, partner. Don't have much choice. All right. Well, it looks like we have another order of business that we need to take care of, but I'm gonna catch this fish soon. First, not soon, right now. And I, I screwed it up. All right, I will be back if we find a part or some fish. Da 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 da! Caught a loach. I don't know if that is new. I don't think it is. I caught a black bass, the most metal of all fish. Yes, I caught a dace. Hope you have some space. A C bass? No way, it's at least a C plus. God dang it, I still don't like that pun. Oh, hell yeah, we caught another stone. What the heck is that? Caught an anchovy. Don't want it on my pizza though. A squid! That's new. I caught a squid. I had an inkling I might. Very clever. Love it. Good cross reference. Another sea bass. Eh, you kind of expect that. And my fishing rod broke. Crap. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna try to find the things on the ground for blathers. Or not blathers, for Gulliver. Get out the old trusty shovel. All right, I'm confused. I've run across this entire island and I haven't seen a single dig spot for these things he's talking about. Maybe I misunderstood him. Yar, me uh, communicator parts are definitely buried in the sand on this island's beach. I just know it. But if that's the case, there's nothing I can do. Buy a shovel, I sold it by this communicator. Curse you, fate. Why can't I win? So is he saying I just randomly dig? That can't be right. This can't just be like a random thing, right? But I don't see any spots anywhere. <laughs> ah, it's the spots where it's freaking oysters or whatever they are, the little guys that squirt when you run by. Well, I'm an idiot. Another one! All right, three to go. Oh, two to go. You're gonna be out of here in no time, Gulliver. Only one left. What the heck? You're not what I was looking for at all. I still accept you though. Clam could be used as fishing bait, but I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Wait, what? We can make fishing bait? Is that what it's saying? I think I can donate to the museum though instead, right? Oh, where'd it go? I think it was right here. What, another clam? No. You're supposed to be a communicator part. Or do I already have five? No, I have four. Who are you and where's the last one? <laughs> hey, 
Hey, there it is. All right, cool. Communicator, uh, communicator part has been found. Bring these back to Gulliver real quick. He should be right over yonder. What up, brada? Yar, did you find them? Got them right here. Or that's them. Those are uh, definitely me communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. Oh, what a great dance. All righty, the pieces be crammed back in. Let's see if I can get this thing to send a message. <coughs> Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. So listen, it happened again. Can you swing by and pick me up? S sending my coordinates now. Go over, over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in the next few days. Gonna send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Oh, just be sure you put on some flippers before you open it, okay? Arr! And see, nothing to do now but pace back and forth and for the next few hours. Better get started. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie. Man, that hurt my throat to do his voice. I gotta think before I pick voices like that next time. All right, well, we can at least collect some of these Nook Miles. Easy cash money all day, every day. All right, I think I still have, I don't know, six more things to get to hopefully finish up the museum for you guys. I will try. Oh, do I steal this from Sly? Yoink. Oh, sorry, Sly. I did not mean to hit you with that. I'm so sorry. He claps for me. I'm an awful friend. I'm sorry, Sly. How are you? When did it get so late? How long have I been out here? Hoorah. Want to talk? Keeping it simple with a striped tee, eh? I get it, hoorah. You don't want to take any attention away from those sublime triceps. All right. Thank you for judging my clothing. I appreciate it. But it seems like I passed on the judgments. Oh, another balloon, quick. Uh, where is it? There we go. Hold and quick, shoot it. Ooh, just barely made it. What's in the box? What's in the box? It is a workout top. I mean, he just talked about our clothes and now what? It, hold on. Is my belly showing? Is your boy's belly hanging out? All right, that is a no-go for me. Nope, 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 nope. Ain't nobody seeing my belly today. Hey, we got a bitterling. I don't know if I donated that. I might have, or I might have sold it. I really should have saved the stuff that we got yesterday, because I definitely could have done that. You can just place fish on the ground. So I could have just saved them all, but in my defense, I did feel like I needed the money. Let us see. Can we get this young fish? Oh. Dang it, another loach. Well, we definitely don't need that. Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. We gotta run straight down. And turn. No! I wanted to catch the bees for the museum and I screwed it up. Ow, 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 ow. I got stung by wasps. Sorry, not bees, wasps. Well, that is a bummer. We're gonna be running around with a bad eye for a little while. Hey, that's a new one. Ah, yes, I caught the barbed knife jaw. Must have a hard time eating. Let's see if we can get this one up here too. The old two-for-one special. Okay, help if I even throw it somewhere remotely near the fish that I'm trying to catch. Nope. All right, one more try. A little, little closer this time. Straight ahead. All right, a li little bit, a little bit this way. Perfect, kind of. He doesn't see it, does he? All right, I see you, Mr. Fish. How about now? Nope. A little, little bit more. How am I this bad? Just eat the hook, fish. All right, this is a sick and twisted game, huh? Bap! The old run up, nailed it, perfect. Man, if I would have missed it after all that, 
It's not even one we need. It's the sea butterfly again. Dang it. Another sea bass. All right, I see you, Mr. Sea Bass. You and your tomfoolery. Oh, that is a large fish to be in the old, uh, ye old river. Oh, I think it's a black bass. Yep. I am never wrong. Why do you exist? This is not what I need. No, you can let it go. Let me go empty my bags. I did not think it'd be this hard to find so many new fish. Well, and butterflies and stuff. Another bitterling. My eye is so screwed up right now. Another black bass. I'm catching nothing but the same fish at this point. A dab? Well, I know that I've caught a dab before. I don't know if I turned it into Tom Nook, though, to give the blather. So we'll have to check that one. That might possibly be a new one. A horse mackerel? Make that two horse mackerels. No, I do not need you. Let's go see if Blathers needs any of these fish that I have. Okay, that's good. We have two. Common butterfly and the dab. Eek, a common butterfly. What a wretched thing. I have my beg your pardon. Bugs, I do detest them. Still, there's so much to tell you about this insect that you apprehended, if you insist, that is. Sure, why not? Ah, I see. Uh, in that case, I am. Common butterfly would have been uh, believed to be a beautiful friend of the f flitting prettily about the flowers. Bah, I say, they uh, may seem innocent things, but they're pretty white wings, but they hide a dark side. The common butterfly caterpillar is called the cabbage worm, you see. And it's the most voracious pest. The ravenous beast chews through cabbage, broccoli, kale, and like with a devastating gusto. And my feathers, their green coloring is truly gross. A horrific hue, I say. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. Though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured this wretched thing will be the best of its care here. By the way, I wonder if you have anything else you'd like to donate. If so, might I take a look? Sure! You can have this dab! Take it! Take my dab! Woohoo! Well, this is mm, a dab. Now, might I interest you in some facts? Sure. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. The dab, the flatfish, that bears some resem resemblance to that of the olive flounder. Though their mouths are different, personally, I'm uh, morbidly fascinated by each fish's eye placement. The dab's eyes are both on the right side, while the olive flounders are on the left. These fish spend lots of time lying on their sides in the sand, with an odd eye placement makes some sense. But, uh, how can I put this? Creepy, viscerally disturbing, profoundly upsetting a fans of symmetry. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo! Thank you once again. Uh, once the museum is complete, I shall have this display with the utmost of dignity. With this, I need one... Donation to open the museum. Oh man, we're almost done. Dude, I have had I'm at okay breaking the fourth wall here I'm at an hour and a half of recording right now And I'm still not done with this project. I have no idea what this is gonna be when I edit it down When I cut out all the missed fish all the bad fish uh, all the things that I missed It has been an adventure. I cannot wait to get this museum done. Let's see if this will be the one. Sir, are you interested in a bobber? Can I interest you in a snack of sorts? Will you eat my hook? Fish. Yes, you will. No, nope, I know for a fact we already donated that one. So you, my friend, are going into the wallet.
I'm pretty sure this is a black bass. And I would be correct. Oh, my favorite fish, the tin can fish. I can't carry anything else while I swap it. I'm gonna swap it because I think we're gonna get a DIY project for this. So goodbye, black bass. This empty can could be repurposed. I have an idea for a DIY project. Told you. Hi, Flo. I hope you're having better luck fishing than I am. I just scared a fish away. Dang it. All right, here we go. This is it. This is not a black bass. I don't know what this is. It is a dace. I can't carry anymore. Well, I guess we will just release the other black bass. I don't actually know if the dace is worth more than the black bass, but I'm gonna go empty my inventory real quick. And then hopefully we can find one more freaking bug or fish. I'm dying. Oh my God, a tin can to match with my tin can. In case it didn't have enough tin can. Oh, oh man, I catch garbage and I lose my fishing rod. Can you guess what I found? Sea bass. Ah, are you serious? Both my fishing rods broke at the same time? All right, I couldn't pass up the- No, Sly, don't leave. Sly, wait. I wanted to take a picture with you. Sly, what are you doing? Wait, hold on, ah, move the camera. Ah, yeah, come back, Sly, come here, come here. I can't move the camera anymore. All right, maybe next time. I just realized how much this fish matches my shirt. Dang, I'm fashionable and so is that fish. Another sea bass. I'm losing my mind. I just need one more fish that's different. So I can have a museum. This isn't working. Please eat the hook. I'd be a different fish. Please, God. Uh, different fish. Olive flounder. We did it! My song! It has swayed the gods! and given us the ability to finish the museum. God, that took so long, dude. Please let me know if you have any items to donate or need assistance. I'm here to help. Make a donation. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? The olive flounder to end it off on. There you go, bud. Hoot hoot! This must be. Ah, the olive flounder. Now, might I interest you in some fascinating facts about- you know what? Sure, go for it. Wonderful! I would love nothing more! Did you know that the olive flounder is the same shape as other fish when it hatches? But as it grows, it grows both wider and flatter, and then they reach some three feet long. These flat fish spend most of their lives buried under the sandy ocean floor, waiting for prey to happen by. Imagine the surprise for said prey when they strike. It'd be as if your kitchen floor were to bite you. Ah, uh, there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, I shall uh, display the, this with utmost dignity. Hmm, I do believe this means... Yes, huzzah, hooray! We have acquired the number of specimens required. My feathers, I am at a loss for words. Never would I have imagined we would reach our donation goal on this, my very first day on the island. Oh, the generosity that made this possible, the passion! 
I am humbled by the spirit of Yolison. Now we can submit our application to build a proper museum. Oh, oh my. I must make haste and prepare the museum opening. There's so much to do. Hooty hoot. Thank you so very much, Peach. Holy, we did it. My gosh. I apologize for you guys. For, like, for me, there was some downtime between that where I was cutting trees because I did get... Um, I got a lot more wood for us so that we could get that part taken care of. Um, I don't have enough iron for the shop yet, but I did do that. But for you guys, I'm sure that was nothing but fish after fish after fish. But hey, I cut out the boring parts and the ones that I missed. So you're welcome. But I do want to check and see about our situation here. Okay, that looks good. I am going to withdraw this move to pockets we will move this to pockets move this to pockets your pockets are full wait what do you mean oh they only stack to 30 okay well my bad i didn't know that so i'm going to put one of these cans in storage i will use the other one to show you guys what you can actually do with them and let's see 30 30 okay so i can withdraw this last bit that i was needing so we can go turn that in, move to pockets, and, oh wait, I can't show you what it does because I don't have the items to do it. Well, at least I can show you in the crafting DIY what we can do with it. So let's open up our handy dandy notebook and collect our miles real quick before I forget. Let's see, we got the uh, rough hewn. All right, thank you for the points. Oh, we're so close. Oh, I need one more. Oh, I got one. Nice. Okay, for catching trash. We got 300 points. Which means we can go get our item upgrade as well. Yo, okay. I'll admit, everything took a lot longer than I expected today to get this museum done. But I did make some decent progress. If you figure we got all the wood done that we need for the shop, so we just need the iron. And we're going to get an item upgrade. And tomorrow we have the museum. So you know what? I think we did okay. Ask the residents for help donating the materials that we need to build a shop. I'd like to donate. You make a donation? Uh, thank you so much for helping us. Right now, you have uh, softwood, hard, uh, softwood, wood, and hardwood. Do you want to donate 30 of each? Yes. These are for you. Thank you so much. We only need one last bit of research uh, to reach our donation goal for building the shop. So thank you for offering. Uh, so let me offer you some cute red tile flooring, some brown iron par parquet. Wait, what? And a blue painted wall. I don't know what that flooring was. I'm sorry. I can't read. All right. Last but not least, let's head on over here and we are going to redeem those miles for a bigger backpack. Redeem Nook Miles, and we want the Pocket Organizing Guide. Redeem 5,000 miles for the Pocket Organization Guide, yes. The reason I'm not looking for the better tools right now is because all of our iron is going to be going to the shop right now anyways. So, as much as I would like to have better tools, it's kind of pointless since I don't want to waste the iron on tools when I need it for the shop. So, huh, okay. I see this makes total sense. I learned some tricks for organizing my belongings. I bet I could carry a bit more stuff now. All right, cool. We took care of all of that. Now, what do we do? Oh, I forgot to show you guys what we could make. I got so distracted. All right, so let's open up our phone. We're gonna go to the DIY section. And we unlocked this, the succulent plant. So this is a little item that you can place on either a stool or a shelf or whatever. It's a tin can filled with random little weeds. So 10 weeds, one empty can. I don't have any weeds because I sold them all. Uh, we also unlocked the wooden low table. This is what we got from HH uh, Academy or Happy Home Academy. Sorry, best way to put it. And I think that is it. Everything else is stuff that you guys saw before. Yep, that is looking right. Oh, fish bait. We unlocked that today. All right, we're good. So, to end off our day, I think we're going to go inside and we're going to check out those new items that uh, Timmy just gave us for turning in the three different types of wood, 30 of each that we needed. And let us see what they are. We got the 
blue wall. Okay, it is a blue wall. I don't know what I expected. The brown iron parakeet flooring. I don't know if it's actually called parakeet. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And then we got the cute red tile floor. Oh, it's got little hearts on it. Okay, I'm actually going to swap this, place on floor, and then I want to place it vertically. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. Okay. I think we're going to keep this the way it is for now. Let's toss that in our storage. Whoops. I always forget. I think that you can do it that way, but you have to do it from here. So, put in storage. Put in storage. Toss that in there. We'll toss the extra wood in there as well, since we don't need this. And I think that's going to call it for today, guys. So tomorrow, we are going to work on getting our shop finished up. If we are able to get that 30 iron as soon as possible, we will start farming the bells so that we can get another house upgrade. Because I don't know about you, but this is a little bit small for my liking. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. We got 363 more days of this. So don't you worry. There's plenty of more content coming up. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Make sure you guys are entered for your chance to win the Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing Edition. Links are in the description down below if you're watching this prior to April 20th. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!